keep doing the same thing and it gets boring after a while. It's time to switch things up. Let's introduce a bit of variation into the equation, pun intended. We have already learned about ratios and proportions in which we compare quantities of the same kind. Time for something new, variation. In mathematics, when we compare two things, we use the word variation to observe the change in one quantity due to a change in another quantity. Have you ever observed that during the summers, as the temperature increases, the number of ice cream buyers increases too? Or when building a house, if the number of workers is increased, the work is finished in fewer days. Through these examples, you just saw that there are two types of variations, direct and inverse. Direct variation is when one quantity increases with the increase in the other, and vice versa. Like the relation of car speed with the distance covered. More speed, more distance, and the chance of a traffic chalan. Or the relation of the radius and the circumference. Smaller the radius, the smaller the circumference. Now, if one quantity is y and the other is x, then we can say that y is directly proportional to x. And to show this mathematically, we use this sign, which is read as varies as. This variation symbol can be replaced with an equal to sign along with a constant term k. Further simplify it and we get this. This k is called the constant of variation and can be any number but not zero. To understand what it is saying, let's take an example. Suppose that one ice cream costs you rupees 20. And this is how we can write this as a ratio. Now, how much will two ice creams cost you? 40, right? So, the more the ice creams, the greater the cost. Why? It is a direct variation. Even if we convert these cost and quantities to ratios, and once we simplify them, we see that the ratios are the same as that for one ice cream. So, no matter how many the ice creams are, as long as the cost is varying directly, the ratio will always be a constant. And that's exactly what we were saying. If two quantities are varying directly, then their ratios will always be a constant. Let's see an example related to direct variation. A practical situation is given. A body is placed at a distance d of 16 feet. It's falling in time t, which is 1 second, such that the distance is directly proportional to the square of time. With all this information given, we are required to find this constant k and also the relation between d and t. The first step is to replace this proportional sign with the equal to sign and k, the constant of variation. Label this as equation 1. Substitute the values of distance and time in it and we get k equals 16. Is this it? No. We also need to find the relation between d and t. So, by substituting the value of k back in equation 1, we get the relation between d and t as well. This was but one example. They say practice makes perfect or rather perfection is directly proportional to practice and so we will be practicing a little more.